Hello, I'm Yusu. Welcome to Comba Lab. I have uh, the newest weapon uh, that I haven't yet spinned, and I tried it for the first time. The five part nunchucks. Uh, so this would be also the five parted staff. Um, I've been doing normal nunches and triple nunches and the tree cha. Uh, but I just made this and I have no idea how will it spin. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm able to do it because I can be spin staff and uh, I can uh, even spin like a, a meteor hammer, like a two headed uh, a chain uh, with my hands like a staff. So in theory, I would say that this should be quite uh, easy, uh, but it's going to be crazy because I don't know how the how the I have to play it a lot from the center uh, because it's a different distance, so you cannot slide the hand. Uh, you have to choose the position from uh, from there, but um, I'm pretty sure it's going to work out. But let's check it out. Uh, there's few other nunches I used. Uh, for the measurements, here's some basic ones. This is I did this uh, similar connection with the rope. I found the rope from Tiling Works, so it was very nice and strong. And I used this measurement for the so it, it didn't get too long. Uh, these ones are uh, not very strong, but uh, they can take uh, normal use. And the rope ones are, are pretty indestructible in that sense. I mean, even the chain, but this is just a not very high quality piece. Um, this five-parted nuncha, uh, it's from pine tree, so it's quite light. Uh, if you would like to have a nuncha as a weapon, you would need something heavier like these antique ones. Uh, it's probably... Uh, maybe like even wood very heavy and there's a uh, brass in the end so that's actually quite dangerous and and this is uh, one of my favorite weapons for sure uh antique uh tricha three part nuncha and it's very dangerous a uh, weapon especially for yourself yeah because that's that's who's using it uh rarely anybody's fighting with this anymore uh, but with this, if you spin it and you hit it in the back of your head, oh my god. Um, when I started with this, I totally had a helmet and uh, some protection now. I can go with it uh, straight. But um, it's it's tough, it's tough. Uh, but the five-parted nuncha, let's go how that's going to work, uh, work out. Okay, so I'm gonna let's say first let's let's go just the figure uh, figure eight. Okay. Ah, well, okay, that's difficult. Yeah, you cannot grab from everywhere. Um. Okay, I try to move to the center and and do a all kind of normal all around techniques. Whoa, the reverse is badass. Oh, yeah. Oh, how about long? There's a little space, but. Oh. oh, man, that was neat. That was so much fun. Okay, uh, so with, with this, um, this kind of nuncha moves uh, can be made, all kinds of strikes. Even with the triple nuncha you can hit from the, uh, from here, but with the long one it's going to be tricky. Uh, I will try to do some uh, striking. Let's see.
Okay, crazy. And then some spinning in between. The Shaolin style. Reverse. There's some striking from here. What the? This center, Ooh. I guess so. Ah. Ah. Yeah, baby. Oh. Okay, shit. Now I actually hit my head with the last strike. But, uh, oh my god, that was awesome. Uh, there's a lot to learn with this this weapon. It's it's quite crazy. I like it a lot. Uh, there's many new things to learn, and there's also versions of these uh, that have uh, smaller ones, even like brass, like chains, da, 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 all the way. <laughs> uh, that would be cool, but that's quite the same as just having any chain and spinning the chain. Okay, but this is uh, cool. This is very. I'm happy of uh, of uh, making it and <laughs> looking forward to train with it. Uh, with very light wood like this, I would say it's quite safe. And uh, you can always put some protection on with the um, armors. Uh, it would be very cool to fight with this. Make like very long shots. This would need to be like super durable, maybe not this version of the weapon, uh, but some some type. Uh, it would be quite cool to also make those rubber maybe. Uh, but with armors, uh, I, I really want to test it in the next armor fight uh, we have. Uh, with point sparring I think it would be quite good, why not? And with full contact uh you would need to throw some punches and knees <laughs> when they get close uh yeah nice i'm very happy to try it out uh as a freestyle martial artist uh, i build weapon weapons and i test them and uh, i have always eager to develop new techniques to actually uh, do them well and then test them in practice so if you want to fight me uh, with weapons uh, and armors or just hand-to-hand -hand combat with different versions uh, we can do it let's set it up and let's see what works in practice Was